Welcome to our video on fire terms explained, which started with a fire term. Oh, I love it. Fire stands for financially independent, retire early. What does that even mean? Well, it means that you have enough money coming from your investments that it covers your expenses and you don't need to work for a living if you don't want to. There's so many different flavors <laughs> of fire. Tell us about those, Alan. That's normal fire or whatever normal fire is. <laughs> and let's look next at lean fire. Lean fire is where you've accumulated enough wealth to cover your basic outgoings. So maybe it covers your mortgage, your food, your electricity, light and power, and that's it. But that gives you the freedom to then be able to spend your time doing other things. So that's lean fire. And we've then got fat fire, which means not only do you have enough to cover your basic expenses, you've got enough to cover your normal expenses, so normal fire. And then beyond that, you've got loads and loads of money. You can do whatever you want. You can go on lavish trips. You can spend more freely. And some people don't want to do lean fire because they don't like a life of deprivation. So they spend their time trying to accumulate more and more and more until they get to a fire level that allows them to do anything. Which then brings us on to the third term, which is coast fire. Now, coast fire is a different principle where you have spent your time saving and investing up to a certain point that you can then maybe step back, take a different job, do something else and leave your investments to grow in the background whilst you do something you more enjoy. And the idea is you've worked enough to accumulate enough investments that they will then grow over the years so that you can retire without having to keep adding to it. So you can just coast your way to fire. Sounds chilled. <laughs> it does. Finally, we have slow fire. What does slow fire mean, Alan? Slow fire is a concept that someone's come up with that I don't <laughs> think is actually that useful. You know what writers and the media are like. They like to create terms that aren't actually that useful. But the idea of slow fire is that you just slowly and gradually get to fire because you don't have to rush it. But they've kind of missed the point of financial independence in total, haven't they? They think that you're somehow depriving yourself by investing your money instead of spending it, by having to be super frugal. That's not the point. If you spend in line with your values and realise where your money is going, then you can get to fire and there's no need to have this slow fire. If you value cars, spend your money on cars. If you value clothes, spend your money on clothes. If you don't value any of that, don't spend your money on that. Spend it on freedom and invest it and save it. The final thing I think people get completely wrong with this stuff is that they think that retire early means you have to retire. One of the things we've learnt is that in retirement you need purpose. Happiness comes from growth and contribution. So if you can find your purpose in life, if you can find out what you want to do, FIRE can give you the freedom to actually live your purpose. And if you don't want to officially retire, whatever that means, like the you word has got to. so much stuff around it. You don't have to if you don't want to. Just do what you want, have a work that's flexible. It just creates options. And FIRE is about having the freedom to live life on your terms.